In Asian countries, majority of the construction buildings consists of 75% brickwork. That's why it becomes necessary for everyone to know the approximate quantity of bricks and cement mortar required for any specific brick construction work. In today's tutorial, I am going to discuss how to calculate the quantity of bricks and cement mortar required for any brickwork. It may appear to be an expert job, but believe me it's no biggie at all. Let me show you how to do that and how to be your own expert. Before proceeding further, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to remain updated. Let's illustrate this concept with the help of an example. Suppose we need to construct a brick wall of total volume 1 meter cube and let's use the standard size of bricks which is 190 mm into 90 mm into 90 mm as per BIS that is Bureau of Indian Standards. The minimum thickness of cement mortar is 10 mm. Volume of one brick with mortar will be equal to 200 into 100 into 100 mm along with 10 mm mortar thickness on all sides. Finally, we will get volume of one brick with mortar equal to 2 into 10 raised power 6 mm cube which will be equal to 0 0.002 meter cube. So number of bricks with mortar required for constructing 1 meter cube of wall will be equal to total volume of wall divided by volume of 1 brick with mortar which will be 1 divided by 0 0.002 equal to 500 bricks. Hence the number of bricks required for costing 1 meter cube of brickwork will be equal to 500. Now the volume of one brick without mortar will be equal to 190 mm into 90 mm into 90 mm which will be equal to 153900 mm cube. And after converting this to meter cube we will get volume of one brick without mortar equal to 0.001539 meter cube. Hence the volume of 500 bricks without mortar will be equal to 500 into 0.001539 equal to 0 0.7695 meter cube. Volume of cement mortar will be equal to total volume of brickwork minus volume of bricks without mortar which will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.7695 equal to 0 0.2305 meter cube which is wet volume. To calculate the quantity of cement mortar we need to convert the wet volume to dry volume by multiplying the wet volume by a factor 1.33. So dry volume will be equal to 0 0.2305 into 1.33 equal to 0 0.306565 meter cube. It should be noted that the cement mortar ratio is taken as 1 is to 6. That is, one part of cement is mixed with 6 parts of sand. Volume of cement will be equal to ratio of cement divided by total ratio into dry volume. While ratio of cement is 1, total ratio is 7 and dry volume is 0 0.306565 meter cube. So on substituting these values we will get 1 by 7 into 0 0.306565 equal to 0 0.043 meter cube. Volume of cement in cubic feet will be calculated by multiplying the volume in meter cube by 35.31. So finally we will get the volume of cement in cubic feet equal to 1.546 cubic feet. Number of cement bags required will be equal to volume of cement divided by volume of one bag of cement. While the volume of one bag is 1.25 cubic feet. So the number of cement bags required will be 1.546 divided by 1.25 equal to 1.23 bags. Volume of sand required will be equal to ratio of sand divided by total ratio into dry volume. While the ratio of sand is 6 and total ratio is 7, so the volume of sand will be 6 by 7 into 0 0.3065 equal to 0 0.2627 meter cube. To convert this volume in cubic feet, 
we will multiply the volume in meter cube by a factor 35.31. Hence the volume of sand required in cubic feet will be equal to 6.2627 into 35.31 equal to 9.27 cubic feet. So this was all for today. We'll catch you up soon. Thank you.